We have to admit, sometimes we don't know what we would do without Siri. Apple's iOS artificial intelligence is our right-hand woman for setting reminders, Googling directions, and she's got a knack for finding those trendy coffee shops near us at any given time. But she's also a not-so-secret queen of sass. So right now, we're bringing down 11 of Siri's sassiest responses and just what to say to her to provoke them, right here on Listed. We've all heard the saying, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Our girl Siri confirms that statement while also confirming that although there's no stupid questions, there are stupid people. Or at least she makes us feel that way. When asking Siri to help us with a simple math homework assignment, say, zero divided by zero. Her answer will make you question your entire life. Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. Ouch, Siri, a little harsh. But since we're getting super personal, let's see what Siri says if you really lay your heart on the line. Siri, will you marry me? My end user licensing agreement does not cover marriage. My apologies. Well, that's one way to let a girl or a guy down easy. Okay, let's switch directions and get less personal here. How would Siri answer some old elementary school tongue twisters, like, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Well, since a woodchuck is really a groundhog, the correct question would be, how many pounds in a groundhog's mound when a groundhog pounds hog mounds? Okay, Siri clearly never got behind the spirit of tongue twisters, but to each their own, fair. Way to take that one way too seriously, but speaking of Siri, why is she called Siri anyway? Like, why is your name Siri? What does my name mean? I don't think I can explain it in your language. Sorry. Our language? What's so wrong with our language, Siri? The sassiness just keeps on coming. And what happens if you let Siri know how she's making you feel? Let's find out, shall we? Siri, you're making me angry. Fine. Stop squeezing me. Okay. Fair point. But let's get back to some of the sassiest things you can get Siri to say, like, what if we accused her outright of saying something negative like being a total snooze fest? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Siri, you're boring. I'm juggling flaming swords right now. You just can't see it. Picks or it didn't happen, Siri. Anyway, let's shift gears because this flame war is getting ugly and it's with, you know, a phone, which is a little weird. So let's talk to Siri about something everyone loves pop culture. Guess which movie she's not a fan of. Hey Siri, what is the movie Inception about? Inception is about dreaming about dreaming about dreaming about dreaming about something or other. I fell asleep. She also has a real grasp on the finer plot points from The Matrix. Just ask her. Siri, what is The Matrix about? It's about Keanu Reeves and reality and red pills and blue pills and black leather and guns, but mostly about Keanu Reeves. Siri also isn't the biggest fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. She seems to have a chip on her shoulder about one character in particular. Just watch. Siri, can I call you Jarvis? Sigh. I think that guy cheated off my exam in our intelligent assistant finals. Okay, so since Siri knows all, pop culture fanatics around the world have taken to asking her their latest burning questions like, who are Jon Snow's parents on Game of Thrones? Let's just say, there is some fire in the snow. Okay, that almost sounded a little dirty, but let, we'll let it slide. Clearly she knows and she's just holding out on us, but whatever. But if you feel like it's a waste of time to ask the great and powerful Siri about a TV show, how about a much bigger question? Like, Siri, what's the meaning of life? I give up. Us too, Siri. Us. So we've concluded our list of 11 of Siri's sassiest responses of all time, and we want to hear from you guys. Did we miss any of Siri's sassiest comebacks, or have you asked her any questions of your own and gotten a completely catty reply? 